the early 1900s, people who wanted a quick and easy cure for their ailments went to see Dr. Linda Burfield Hazard. Her sanatorium, known as Wilderness Heights, was supposed to be a place of relaxation and rejuvenation. Little did these patients know that in actuality, it was a place of unimaginable horrors. Linda's extreme practices earned the sanatorium the nickname Starvation Heights. According to Linda, any disease could be cured by fasting, from tuberculosis to a simple headache. She claimed the cause of illness was impure blood as a result of impaired digestion. However, Linda was not a trained medical doctor. She had received a medical license through a loophole that grandfathered practitioners of alternative medicine under the regulations of the state of Washington. Patients in her care fasted for days, weeks, and even months, consuming only small servings of vegetable broth. Their systems flushed with daily enemas and vigorous massages that nurses said were more like beatings. The total is unknown, but it is estimated that Hazard starved at least 15 people to death. She gained power of attorney over many of her patients, sometimes by declaring them mentally incompetent, and took over their estates after their deaths. On August 15, 1911, authorities arrested Linda Hazard on charges of first-degree murder of a wealthy British woman named Claire Williamson. It was discovered that after her death, while under their care, the Hazards had helped themselves to her clothes household goods, and an estimated $6,000 worth of her diamonds, sapphires, and other jewels. Later in 1911, Linda was convicted of manslaughter and was sentenced to hard labor at the penitentiary in Walla Walla and her medical license revoked. She served two years and then moved to New Zealand to be near supporters. In 1920, she returned to Olala, Washington to finally build another sanitarium she called School for Health. The institute burned to the ground in 1935, and in 1938, Hazard fell ill and undertook a fast of her own. It failed, and she died shortly thereafter. Like and follow for more infamous medical stories.